Okay. 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 So good afternoon, everyone. Are you all still hungry or angry? <laughs> yeah, I think this is okay, right? It's better. Okay, thank you. So we we'll talk about the topic that Dr. Jorge Herrera gave me was uh, feminist pedagogy, and it's basically gender and adult education. But we'll go through that first, since I am a stranger to almost 100%, 99 percent of you, okay, 98. Uh, maybe say something, could be as brief as possible, and you know, what do you think feminism is, or what's your stereotype of feminism, or any question you want to ask, please. Oh, um, my, name, my name is Renee. Yeah, please. Um, I don't know what to expect. Okay, I'm really looking forward to it. All right. I've always seen it as feminism is basically equal gender. Right? All right, so, then class over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got it. Okay. And you know, go around the table. Sure. Um, my name is Tamika, and pretty much what he said, I think feminism is the equal opportunity part. Okay. Who are doing masters? Who are doing doctorate? Or think they are? <laughs> Who's doing postdoc? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, my name is Sam. I'm uh, actually in international education. All right. And I would say feminism, I wouldn't say just as equality, it's the process of reaching equality was the goal. Because I would say right now we're looking at women as a marginalized group trying to make their way into the center through fe that would be feminism. Okay, thank you. My name is Jordan. Um, I think feminism is the idea of understanding equal rights and uh, understanding, you, know, you basically want to understand like, the roles of uh, males and females in equal rights. So just understanding role definition. Okay, great, thank you. Shall we go to the inner side to okay, it? And then we go around. <laughs> oh, you know me. <laughs> no, you, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ray. I'm Rai. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I could go with the stereotype of feminism, because oh, yeah. I know you mentioned okay. that. Yeah, sure. There's always the scary, the scary, uh, the scary, crazy, uh, crazy. I was trying to think the stereotype, the, the <laughs> okay. combat. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Shall we go, Joan? My name is Joan Lawrence. I'm in
We'll go back to the outer circle if it's okay. Yes. Uh, my name is Heath Matt. Uh, my definition of feminism is kind of a level of house. Some other people said that uh, just equality between men and women. Uh, expectations. That's my own. Okay. Thanks. Uh, next, please.
All right, thank you. So we have two sets of major ideas that popped up. And you see theories, you see principles, history, process, politics, social relations, on, one, on the one hand, and then on the other hand, all of these stereotypes, right? We will go through all of these. Uh, since this is brainstorming, we'll try to do it uh, systematically. But I want to warn you, be prepared to be shocked. Okay, who among you are below 18 years old? 16? Okay, you're all adults? Okay, you will hear adult things, okay? If you don't want to hear, just leave the room, please, huh? Okay. Now, this will be what we will cover. So what, why, why do we have to study feminist pedagogy? And then what are the two major trends which came out? You have the history, you know, from the past to the present, it's a process over the years, process of becoming. Ideology would be theories, faith in, beliefs, all of those things. Okay, so we have all of them packaged together. And who is this woman? Some of you know, bonus, maybe a, a mint. I'll give you a piece of mint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who knows her? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Good try. Yeah. Good try. Yeah. Good try. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I give you a tip. She's from the continent, the old world, from the mainland. That's from the island. She's from the continent. Yeah. <laughs> and their holidays coming this weekend. The 14th of July. Yeah. <laughs> Simone. Yeah. Thank you. You have a piece of mint. <laughs> Simone de Beauvoir. She's very famous for. The second sex from whom I learned a new author, Mary Daly, got one of the titles of her book, God and the Second Sex, or something. The second word is second sex. Aside from gynecology, she had other books. That's her first book. Okay, so introduction. This is a very famous phrase, woman, women hold half the sky. Fu ni nun ding, ban bian tian. It's an original Chinese quotation stolen, it's plagiarized, and they don't even say it came from China. There's a big movement now. Have this guy, you haven't heard of the book? Yeah, you have. And it's on Facebook, Facebook everywhere. It came from Mao Zedong himself. It's a quotation for who's Mao Zedong, who cares? Who's he? They'll all come out of your master's or doctoral exam. Yeah, it's Chinese, right? And he was the founder of China, of modern China. Problem, we see women misrepresented all of the stereotypes. If, if at all we talk about women, um, all the negative things we hear. And then, you know what happened to Rihanna too, right? With Chris Brown, and she went back to him, just the same, okay, I don't understand. Anyway, the second thing is the invisibility of women, right? If at all we talk about women, it's on a negative uh, way of doing it. Otherwise, we don't even mention women. Okay, worse, this is very recent, so I add pop culture, current events. Who do you think is the champion? The one on the left or right? Yeah, she was the champion, but this was the, what they said. Uh, she's undeservingly ugly, fat slut. Okay, you can Google her name, and you find all names. It's crazy. Like, what has that got to do with her winning? The Wimbledon like What? Okay, it's a big problem. Are you raising your hand? Uh, yeah. yeah, please. That, that makes me think a lot about. I actually put a big Facebook rant on my friends' Yeah. But uh, I hear. 